Hey there folks, Tim Slade here from the eLearning Designers Academy. In today's video, I'll be giving you my thoughts on Articulate Storyline versus Rise and how to pick the right tool for your next eLearning project. So stay tuned. All right, for those of you that know me, there are two e-learning authoring tools I use on a regular basis, Articulate Storyline and Rise. Now, if you don't know a lot about either of these tools, I'll put some links down in the description. And of course, if you are familiar with these tools, you know how vastly different they are in terms of the authoring process and the learning experiences you can create with each of them. So what I wanna focus on today is how do you go about making an informed decision about which tool to use for your e-learning project? You know, in my experience, it really comes down to asking yourself two questions. First, how will each tool affect your project? And second, how will each tool affect the learning experience? Now let's start by looking at the first of these two questions. Now, as I just mentioned, Articulate Storyline and Rise are two very different e-learning authoring tools. On one hand, you have Articulate Storyline, which you can use to create a fully customized e-learning course. You can create everything from simple, click the next button to continue style e-learning courses to complex branching scenarios and simulations. With Articulate Storyline, the sky's the limit to what you can create. And of course, on the other hand, you have Rise, which I would say falls into the category of what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG. Uh, type of tool where you are tightly bound to a set of defined layouts and interaction types. Now, as a result of these differences, they can each affect your e-learning project in many different ways. So the first project-related decision you need to make is how much time you have to develop your e-learning course. Now, with something like Articulate Storyline, depending on the content, the amount of interactivity, whether or not it'll have audio narration and animations, it can take much longer to develop a course from beginning to end. Whereas with Rise, because you're simply mixing and matching different text and multimedia blocks, if your content is ready to go, you can build a course literally within a matter of hours. And, and trust me, I've done that before. Now, the second project-related decision you need to make, which can also affect your overall course development time, is your experience and comfort level with each of these tools. Now, while both tools are relatively easy to use, especially when you compare them to some of the other ones out there on the market, and don't even get me started on Adobe Captivate today, uh, Articulate Storyline does have a steeper learning curve when you compare it to Rise. And as for Rise, if you've never touched it before, I promise, if you can turn on your computer, you can use Rise. It really is that easy. Now, the final project-related decision you need to make is content shelf life. When you're deciding whether to use Articulate Storyline or Rise for your e-learning project, you need to consider how often you'll be touching that course to make content updates. Now, with Articulate Storyline, depending on the complexity of your course, it can be a lot of work to make updates. For example, if you're updating a complex branching scenario with audio narration, that can be a lot of work. Now, whereas with Rise, Unless you're doing something crazy like a complete overhaul of the entire course, it's not going to be much work to make future updates. All right, so those are just some of the project-related considerations you need to think about. Let's now talk about the second question you need to ask yourself, which is how will each tool affect the desired learning experience you're trying to create? Now, because Articulate Storyline and Rise are such vastly different tools, the types of learning experiences you can create with each of them are very different as well. So the first learning experience consideration you need to think about is the types and complexity of interactivity you want to include in your e-learning course. As I mentioned earlier, Articulate Storyline is nearly 100% customizable, and the complexity of the interactivity you can create with it is only limited by your imagination and technical ability. You can create simple click-to-reveal interactions, complex branching scenarios, system simulations, and really everything in between. Now, on the other hand, with Rise, you're a bit more limited in terms of what you can create. Yeah, you can create some pretty cool click-to-reveal interactions, and there's also a built-in tool for simple branching scenarios, but if you want to do anything more advanced than that, then you'll likely need to build it in Storyline and then embed it 
in your RISE course. Now, so the next learning experience consideration you need to think about is mobile responsiveness. While courses created in either tool will work on nearly any type of device, how Articulate Storyline and RISE each handle mobile responsiveness is very different. Now, with Articulate Storyline, the content you design is not mobile responsive, but the player is. So when you design some slides in Articulate Storyline, those slides will look the same on any device. However, the player will adapt to the device you're viewing it on. Now, on the other hand, with courses you create in Rise, they'll be 100% mobile responsive right from the get-go. You really don't need to do anything to make it work. Your Rise courses are going to look great regardless of the device or devices being used to view them. And so, the final consideration you need to consider from a learning experience standpoint is which tool creates the right learning experience for your content and how the learners need to access that content. If your content is best presented in a way that combines audio narration with animations and custom interactions, it might be better to use Articulate Storyline. And on the other hand, if your course content is best presented with text and other forms of multimedia, and you anticipate your learners using their mobile devices to access the content, well, it might make more sense to use Rise. All right, so that's my take on how you can make an informed decision on when to use Articulate Storyline or RISE for your e-learning projects. And of course, that leads me to my question of the day. How do you decide whether to use Storyline or RISE for your e-learning projects? Share your tips by commenting below. As always, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button below. And if you want to learn more about growing your e-learning career and designing better e-learning and Articulate Storyline or RISE, make sure to check out the e-learning designers academy at elearningacademy.io. My name is Tim Slade, and until next time, I'll see you around.